I have a grinder, but sometimes, when it is running, the cutting blade gets stuck. At that moment, the current increases suddenly, which can damage the power supply or even cause danger. The first solution I thought of was a fuse. When the current is too high, the fuse will blow to protect the circuit. Well, it can protect the circuit, but in this way, I guess I would have to buy fuses by the kilogram to have enough to use. Instead of sacrificing fuses all the time, I will use a simple circuit with a relay. If a short circuit happens, it will cut off automatically, and to restart, I only need to press a button. Very convenient. Let's build it together. This is the circuit diagram. Very simple. There are two LED indicators. LED on lights up when the system is working normally, and LED fail lights up when the circuit is cut off. There is also a push button used to start or reset after a fault. When power is first applied, the relay is not energized, so LED fail is on. At this moment, if we press the button, the relay coil is connected to ground, and the relay closes. As soon as the relay closes, the NO contact connects to ground and also connects to one side of the coil. Thanks to this, even when the button is released, the coil is still energized, meaning the relay stays closed. At this point, LED on lights up and the load begins to receive power. But if a short circuit happens, the supply voltage drops nearly to zero V, the coil loses current, and the relay immediately opens. Instantly, the load is cut off, the supply returns to 12V, and LED fail lights again to let us know. However, in my case, this circuit only protects against short circuits. If the load becomes abnormally heavy, it will not cut off. That's why I need another circuit, one that can adjust the maximum current threshold 
and automatically cut off when it goes beyond the limit. Let's start building it. First, I use a shunt resistor to measure the voltage drop when the motor is overloaded. When running without load, the voltage across the shunt is about 0.19 VI, but under heavy load, the voltage can rise up to 1.4 VI. And this change will be the signal I use to build the current limiting circuit. This is the current circuit diagram. I use an op-amp LM358 to compare the voltage across the shunt resistor with a reference voltage. Suppose I set the reference threshold to 1 VI. When the load is light, V shunt is only about 0.2 VI, meaning the non-inverting input voltage is lower than the inverting input, so the op-amp outputs logic 0. When the load is heavy, V shunt rises to 1.2 VI, greater than the 1 VI threshold, then the op amp output switches to logic 1. To ensure safety, the relay is chosen as normally open when power is lost. This relay is driven through a transistor so the control signal is inverted in logic. Therefore, I need to add an inverter stage so that the signal works in the correct direction. This is the circuit diagram up to now. There is one point to note. The inverting input of the second op-amp is raised to a voltage slightly below 1 VI, that is, just a little higher than 0 VI. The reason is that when the non-inverting input signal is 0 VI, for the output to switch state correctly, the inverting input must have a voltage higher than that level. All right, now let's add the relay to the circuit.
This is the current diagram. The signal from the op-amp drives the relay through transistor Q1. Let's see how the circuit works. The result is that when the load exceeds the threshold, the relay switches on and off continuously. The reason is that the V-shunt voltage hovers around the threshold, causing the op-amp output to keep flipping states. To fix this, I add a positive feedback resistor at op-amp number one, creating a hysteresis effect. Thanks to this, once V-shunt exceeds the threshold, the output stays stable and no longer oscillates. I also add a push button to discharge the feedback voltage to GND. This button acts as a reset, bringing the circuit back to its initial state after a fault. In addition, I place a diode in parallel with the relay coil to block reverse current, protecting the transistor from voltage spikes when the relay is released. And here is the final circuit diagram. Let's see how it works.